on the leaves here. I think I've seen something like this in a book at the library. It might be a common disease in vegetables and flowers. What do we do? What if the plants die? Oh, right! If we take care of it now, it might not be a problem. From what I can tell, it doesn't look too serious yet. Um, what did the book say? We just need to cut off the white parts and... <gasps> That's right! Vinegar! It's said to put some diluted vinegar on the affected areas. I'll go get some from downstairs. I think that's about everything we can do. We picked up the fallen leaves, and the air circulation is good now, too. Everything should be fine now. All that's left is to trust they can recover. Thank you for today. I wouldn't have been able to save the plans if you hadn't been here. I'm still a little worried, but please let me help out again sometime. Still carrying that thing around. Hmm. Looks like you're not just playing errand boy this time. Sorry, but I'm not going back to school. Since it's you, I guess I'll say it. I ain't gonna live much longer. I'm getting by on meds right now, but that won't last forever. This is probably the part where I ask God for a miracle, but that's never worked for me. This is my body we're talking about. I know it better than anyone, and I know there's nothing I can do. Here you go! Two specials! Eat up. The noodles are getting soggy. I know it seems like I wasted your time, but it's the good memories that stay with you and get people through their struggles. But it's also the mistakes you made that haunt you forever. You gotta use what time I have left to set things straight. I don't have the luxury of doing anything else. Oh, damn, you really don't mince your words, do you? But you know, that ain't so bad. It's way more refreshing than having someone keep quiet because they're scared of hurting my feelings. That's gotta be why they depend on you so much. Aki and Kurijo are fighting with way more confidence than they had two years ago. 
Yeah, you're just something special. But look, if you got time to waste on me, then go spend it on someone else. Like Amada. He's still just a kid. He's way in over his head. I'm still gonna do whatever I can to help. But after that, I'm counting on you. I'll hold on to this. Yeah. I should have been the one to hand it in. Sorry I put that on you. You can head on outside. I'm paying today. Thanks. Money's on the counter. Thanks! Come again! the cooking. You just eat, and then take care of cleanup afterwards. This time, I want to try Hot Pot. I can probably handle that, right? Hey, don't worry. We've got chicken, onions, carrots, mushrooms, tofu. Hmm, nothing strange here. Just regular ingredients. All right. Why don't you go get a plate and sit tight? been so busy lately. I've had to leave most of the boxing team activities to the junior members. But they actually won a team event at a rookie tournament. So I thought I'd put together this little celebration for them. <laughs> it was just a small tournament that a third year like me couldn't even enter. But still, they really came together as a team to win it. So even though I wasn't much of a captain for them, I'm still proud of their achievement. I gotta say though, Hot Pot is an interesting concept. Every ingredient adds its own flavor, and the end result is so great. It'd be nice if C's could mesh just as well with a ragtag group of members. But isn't it your job as the leader to find out how to make everyone better than the sum of their parts? Anyway, when I'm out there on the front lines, I'll make sure I'm in a position to showcase my strengths. Boxing's taught me that once I get into the rhythm of battle, nothing can stop me. That's my fighting style. Don't forget it. It 
It's nice to be able to share a hot pot with someone else like this. Maybe I'll do this with the boxing team too, if I ever get a chance. All right, now how do we finish the bra? Maybe udon or rice porridge? Or how about some protein dumplings? keeps up, we'll be in good shape. If there are any crops that are bruised or misshapen, give them to me. They'll still taste fine. Nothing beats eating them freshly picked. Oh, right. Don't just leave the stems and roots laying around after harvesting the crops. Take them out and replace the soil right away. You can't replant anything until you do that. I'm glad you pick up on stuff so quickly. Less trouble that way. You're great to work with. Unlike a certain someone. You know, I only started this on a whim. But it's worth it every now and then. Even someone like me can, well, really put this. Growing something lets you see the result of your labor. You feel like you built it with your own hands. This life cycle ends once you eat it, though. Yeah, true. We get hungry just being alive. So I guess they play their part. Even if someone disappears, Maybe they can still leave something behind. 
Nothing. Just talking to myself. Guess that ain't really like me. Saying a little too much today. Break time's over. Let's get back to it. All right, that just about does it. Thanks for your help. You ever do this again? I'll join you. Time to head back. This is the first time we've met during the day. Let's have a chat while the opportunity presents itself. That doesn't concern me. Now, let's be off. I understand one of my group has caused you some trouble. Is she in good health? It must be difficult looking after her. After all, you likely can't rein her in for very long. Or, could it be you've already killed her? So you're keeping her alive? Then I take it you've had to use the suppressants, as I'd expect from Kirijo's resourcefulness. And you now have someone with first-hand experience among your number as well. If you already know about the suppressants, that simplifies things. Can you imagine it? A Persona user murdered by their other half. Such is the fate of a Persona that has gone berserk. As you have already seen for yourself. This power of ours is not meant to be wielded by just anyone. That holds true even for those who were awakened by force. It comes at a great cost, and we can only harness it by walking the line between life and death. It comes at a great cost, and we can only harness it by walking the line between life and death. This power makes us who we are. And yet, you hold the ability to wield so many. The Dark Hour has graced you with its favor, almost unjustly so from our perspective. Now, I ask you, don't you think it'd be a shame for you to lose such a special power? You stubbornly cling to that sentiment. Do you have no intention of understanding anything? Choosing to turn a blind eye towards your own power, to the grief of the fallen, the unchosen, the unloved. Such apathy. Such insolence. You trample upon everything we stand for. And worst of all, your rejection of mine. Hmm. 
You tread upon your gifts like dirt, and in doing so, reveal your own arrogance. It disgusts me. I see now that nothing will change your mind. If our beliefs are at odds with each other, and neither side is willing to concede, then a battle is unavoidable. Hmm. Our final confrontation will come in our own time. You have been blessed with a power greater than any other, and yet you don't see its true value. <sighs> Such a shame. make it, huh? According to the news, a typhoon just hit. Apparently, it's the biggest one on record. It's moving slowly, too, so it'll be gloomy for a while. Yeah, thanks to that, the school festival got canned. Well, less work for us in the end, I guess. Still sucks that we'll be stuck indoors for vacation, though. So, what you gonna do over break? Oh, yeah? You always seem to keep busy, huh? What about you, Fuka? Me? The only thing I plan to do is go to the movies. Ooh, a movie? Do you have a date? It, it's not like that. I'm going with Natsuki-chan. We actually talk about movies all the time. But with this typhoon, I don't know if we'll make it. How about you, Yukatan? Still gonna have practice? Hmm? I don't know. The archery range is outside, so it's most likely canceled until the storm blows over. Same here. This stupid typhoon is gonna mess up my training. You gotta be booked, right, Kurito senpai I'm not sure yet. Why are you so curious about our business, Iori? Oh, me? Well, I'd be happy to tell you about my plans. I suspect that you will be visiting Chidori-san. Although she is in stable condition now, we still can't release her. Man, Aichan, you must be psychic. And you know what? She even told me she wants me to come. Oh, man! I can't believe she said that. So I figured I should probably check up on her. You know, with the storm and all. Mm-hmm. What's with him? Why is he all excited? Um, well... You don't know either, huh? Um... Oh, Amada-kun! What are your plans during the break? Oh, I'm not really doing anything in particular. Come on, you gotta be doing something. Oh, I'll probably go visit the shrine. Dude, you're a kid, not an old man. I always go to pray, though. I guess you could say, I have a wish I want granted. <sighs> anyway. I'm going back to my room. I've got a lot of homework to do. Oh, okay. Just holler if you get stuck, yeah?
Yeah.